We begin right now at 5 o'clock with some breaking news. We have reached a deal to end the shutdown and reopen the federal government. Yes, a deal has been reached to end the government shutdown, for now anyway. President Trump agreed to a tentative deal with Congress that allows almost a million federal workers to go back to work and get paid. Good evening, everyone. I'm Denise Tosenzo. I'm Dennis House. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. Moments ago, we learned the Senate just passed that bill. The House, though, still needs to act. Channel 3's Mark Zinni is here with more details on the plan that does not include funding for a border wall, at least not yet. Right, Mark? Absolutely. Good evening, you guys. After two failed votes yesterday, this all came together within the past few hours. The bottom line here, the president did agree to reopen the government until February 15th. Today's deal does not contain money for his border wall, but President Trump said a bipartisan conference will begin talking about what's best for the border. There was increased pressure to reach a deal earlier today when several airports experienced several delays because of a shortage of air traffic controllers and TSA agents. Safety concerns were increasing as more and more federal workers stopped going to work because they haven't been paid in more than a month. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down on February 15th again or I will use the powers afforded to me under the laws and the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. It's sad, though, that it's taken this long uh, to come to an obvious conclusion. Disagreement in policy should never be a reason to shut down government. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people are responding to all this news today, including Senator Chris Murphy from Connecticut, who tweeted just a short time ago. So Trump is agreeing to the exact same deal he rejected 35 days ago. What a debacle. I'm so sorry, America. Again, that from Senator Murphy. We have more details and reaction from lawmakers right now on the Channel 3 app. Mark Zinni, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.